there are new details about the attack on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi. So court filings reveal the man who broke into the Pelosi's home in San Francisco was on a quote unquote suicide mission and that he had plans to target other politicians. Now prosecutors say he was armed with a hammer, zip ties, tape and rope and wanted to kidnap Nancy and break her kneecaps. There are also some other details coming out. Listen. A voice wakes him up and says, are you Paul Pelosi? It's two o'clock in the morning. Uh, he says, yeah. He says, where is Nancy? He said, she's not here. She's in Washington. He's groggy out of a dead sleep. And when he says, well, I'm going to tie you up and we're going to wait for her. It is clear to him something is very wrong. He gets out of bed and he heads for the elevator and Mr. DePap blocks his his path. The police put their flashlight through the door and they see the two men standing there with the hammer. And the officer says, what's going on here? And Paul Pelosi lets go of the hammer and then he's struck. Terrifying. So we're also learning that the break in was caught on camera, but that the Capitol Police were not monitoring the feed at that specific time. Uh, we already have a lot of viewer ideas, but what do you think, Jeff, of these new details? Uh, it's disgusting. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say about this. It's disgusting. I've said the attacks on our capital is disgusting. Attacks on someone's home is disgusting. Attacking someone because of their political belief is disgusting. And I don't know what more to say about this. There's no, I like to take the other side on things. There's no other side here. There's no other point of view that we could take. This man's deranged and out of his mind and broke into someone's house because of their political beliefs. And he's an extremist. But I mean, what else, are we, uh, if you condone this or make excuses for it, it's wrong. We're all Americans, it doesn't matter about our beliefs. Right. I'm pretty much done with it. You, you know? know, and Tori, I wanna get your opinion, but I just think that we are in a day and age where we've found like a glitch in the human brain. And that glitch is that if you listen to somebody's voice more than anybody else's, meaning a podcast, meaning going down these YouTube rabbit holes, that becomes the voice in your head. When we used to talk about radicalized Muslims, right. It used to be they read, all they do is read the Quran and all they want to do is blow up Americans. Well, we have American, Americans over here that are listening to 10, 12 hours of political rhetoric every single day. And that becomes this idea that I believe in their heart, they think that their country's being stolen. They don't think Obama's from this country, so they think they lived under. What, what, under what, what unfair, percentage do you think we're talking about here, Al? But all, it doesn't matter because all we it, need it is totally one guy. Matters. We just need totally one person. Matters. That's the, we just have this one person. I know, but we can't let. I don't know. I, I get you. But I mean, I think it's maybe hundreds we're talking about. Right. Hundreds, if that. But those hundreds you know what I mean? of people can But we can't let them do the narrative of our whole country. I don't think they are. I don't even think they're representative of 1%. But that 1%, Tory, please jump in. That 1% can go out and buy a rocket launcher in America I get now. It. That's yeah. the issue. People were at the Capitol. Well, there was a lot of people at the Capitol that believed that the election was stolen, that were chanting things like, hang Pelosi, hang Pence. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And I, I hear your point, and I understand that the problem is if we let those hundreds or thousands, whatever they may be, go unchecked with conspiracy theories, the violence will only increase. So the emboldenedness will only get bigger. Here's where I think there is a conversation. I would like to hear unambiguously from both sides of the aisle that this was a heinous, violent attack. I I have not heard a lot on one side of the aisle on this. When Steve Scalise was shot, Nancy Pelosi came out and said, this is an attack on all of us. This should be unambiguous. And so the response needs to stop the emboldenedness. And I'm not sure it's there. Well, that, I think to what you're alluding to is that there have been some people on the right, I should say the far right, that have been pushing very false conspiracy theories um, and even joking about the attack, which was to Tory's point. So let's talk about some of those tweets. Uh, Elon Musk posted and then deleted a tweet that included a link to a false story suggesting that the attacker was a male prostitute and the attack was a tryst gone wrong. A lot of people called that out as a homophobic false conspiracy theory. Donald Trump Jr. retweeted this suggestion for a Paul Pelosi Halloween costume, which included tidy whities and a hammer. And check out what Arizona candidate Carrie Lake had to say about it on the campaign trail. Nancy Pelosi, well, she's got protection when she's in DC. Apparently her house doesn't have a lot of protection. But... 
Yeah, no, you know, to, to everyone's point, this is no laughing matter. I know Larry Elder, who you know was running for um, California mayor, Gover governor, governor. Gov mayor, uh, governor of California. He tweeted out shortly after it happened. You know that Paul Pelosi had a DUI, so he tweeted out. Now he's twice been hammered, and I oh my god, horrific. But then I went down the rabbit hole to see what people's comments were. Again, to Jeff's point, three dozen comments laughing, and then there were a lot of people condoning those people sometimes not in the nicest language saying you can this is this is wrong this is not the time you should you should not which be I'm making fun of it right which I'm glad to hear but some of those hundreds and thousands are winning elections Carrie Lake is might win Arizona Look at Marjorie she, Taylor Greene she doesn't believe the election was real that's the first start and when you start to lose democracy and then start to get violent that's called a dictatorship that's what a banana republic does they kill the opposition her kneecaps were gonna be broken she would have died he had zip ties okay so I want us all to be very understanding the reactions although they might say that's harmful I can't believe he said that those people are gonna win seats in the United so how States do we, of America okay so there's a lot of anger here and I totally understand because but we don't, I don't want this to be our new republic but my point is I'm I'm on your side I don't how know if you do could we, say that you, you can't she's say gonna, the people that are winning the election are the same people with hammers and zip ties Carrie Lake just made a joke about it and she's gonna win Arizona these people that you're talking about Larry Elder they but are you can't in listen, Here's power. the problem I have with it. I, I agree with you. There's nothing we could say up here. I started to show, we're going to talk about this for seven minutes. I agree. It's disgusting. It's appalling. I'm not for that. Violence of any sort, I'm against. We're all on the same page. But, not but taking everybody, the, the hundreds of people that are disgusting humans, re, 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 doing this on social media, uh, re, reiterating yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? You can't take an entire party and half the country and say, that's you with zip ties and hammers, and you go in, you can't lambast a whole 50 million I hear or you. 70 and million I people like that. I agree with you, and I hear you. The problem is that those who are representing that party are making jokes. And if those are the and people running, few. then what? It doesn't matter. They're in power. So what does that say about you your can't. party? What values do you have at a party but th that see, makes now fun you're of saying, that? So now you're saying if I vote, and I'm not, I'm not, but if you vote anything Republican for any other reason, no. whether it be the economy, I'm specifically you get people. labeled can, with can, that. I'm saying specifically You know what I'm saying? That's, I, we all like agree on the late. same thing. Right. Like but that. To, to say that about half the country, I'm not, I don't I'm think it's fair. I'm saying that about Carrie Lake, and if she represents the party, she has actual power. That scares me rather than I, people in the hundreds. I, she scares me. I'll, ju I'll just say this. I think that we're having this discussion about Paul Pelosi this week. Uh, a year and a half ago, it was, you know, the Capitol. We're having these issues about these individual But events. we're not talking about the issues anymore, Al. That's, that's my problem. The point. That's yes. the distraction. When was the last time you heard anybody say something about fiscal policy or about our, 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 our economy, our, the border, our domestic policy? Education. It's hard what to do we're when doing your to get abortion, are getting, are gonna but be it's, broken. it's not. But okay, we have to go to break. Yes. I do want to end. But this, on this is where note. the com this is You're where right. the conversation goes, and I think America feels like me. It's frustrating. Yes, it's and frustrating. I, I don't even want to have it anymore. Yeah. Well, listen, I, I'm just going to end it on this note because I feel your frustration, Jeff. And I have a lot of Republicans in my family. I've always said on the show I'm a progressive, but I always want to see both sides of the aisle because I know that my Republican family members do not condone what happened to Nancy I want to be clear, husband. I'm not saying But it's not Republicans, it's independents too. I'm, it's right. if you don't agree 100%, not 99, 100 with what I'm saying, you are me, the enemy and you okay. are carrying a hammer and whitey tighties. Let me just make it clear, I'm speaking specifically about the people in power, like Carrie Lake, Got not it. all Republicans. Good.